Hi everyone and a warm welcome to the final of the Warnock Let Loose tournament from last weekend with Lathans and a wooden box, two veterans of Warno so far, two very, very good players. Lathans on the right in blue playing as the 8th infantry and over on the left in red a wooden box playing as the 35th. Now 35th obviously with plenty of four deployment troops and Lathans coming in with a lot of tanks. Interestingly a lot of M60s no less heading into defensive positions perhaps down in Echo. That's an interesting choice. Pivads as well. I'm surprised by the M60s more than anything else. Up here at the top, a couple of choppers coming out there for Lathans just to head off any forward deployed troops. Thunderbolt in at the back as well. And a MiG coming in to go for that Thunderbolt. No, no, it went for the chopper. Now it's on the Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolts are extremely good at taking out aircraft. The MiG-29 is out of there intact. Kiwa being engaged by the Scrizettes as they go along there. Obviously in this mod, aircraft do turn faster and they accelerate up to a very high altitude to evac the map now what we need to keep an eye out for today is how fast infantry die because it looked like from the way people have been playing in this tournament that infantry was actually lasting longer but speaking to lathans it seems that they're just making an effort to keep them alive by moving them around more which is obviously Something that they don't necessarily do in the default vanilla game. I am enjoying the aircraft though. I like the fact they turn faster. There's, just, there's something about the aircraft in general. It looks better. I think it maybe reminds me more of Wargame Red Dragon. A wooden box managed to get a couple of choppers up here and drop off some of those desert Nikki at the back. One squad has been destroyed by the Cobra though. But he is going to get those choppers out to sell them at least. A little bit of aggression down here from Lathans. He is... Oh no, it's going into a defensive position still. It's just gone all the way around the top to get there. A D44 cannon at the back here. Again, something we haven't seen very much. But is being utilised in Warner Let Loose because of the change to its unit type. Currently a wooden box with plus five way out in the lead in points because he controls that centre point. No movement from Lathan's command vehicle there or here. I'm surprised we haven't seen him try to get one into the centre. Obviously those Desert Nikki are of concern because they could snipe a command that comes down the back. This one's on the move now. Oh, that's going to Alpha though. Oh, this one's coming in here fine. It should be absolutely fine then. The Desert Nikki probably won't get that unless they get around the back and engage it. There are some infantry coming in from Lathans though to try and head them off. Or chase them down as the case may be. Another D44 cannon coming in here. Just a smattering of units. And, oh, look at this. Sneaky, sneaky down the bottom for a wooden box with a command vehicle. Obviously hoping to get all the way around the bottom and just sneak into Echo. Center point is now neutralized. This is where the game will stall in terms of points as Lathans neutralizes everything off. Lathans quite aggressive in the middle here, pushing up these M60s. Obviously, the Metis isn't going to be great against three tanks right in its face. No, quickly stunned down, taking lots of damage. D44 is engaging on those tanks. One tank is down. Second one taking fire. There's a couple of D... No, there's three D44s there. Wow. A wooden box making really good use of them. Has forced Lathans to pull back. There's Nikki still knocking around up here. That could get killed. Down the bottom of the map still... That command just pushing around the bottom there it hasn't been seen. And there's no recon around here for Lathan, so there's a good chance it's going to get round the back. We'll have to keep an eye on that. More reinforcements coming in here, heading towards the centre. I think the centre will be the area that's going to be the big battleground in this game. And I mean, it quite often is on this map. Sometimes you get a lot of battles for the side points. But at the moment... Both players sort of, I mean, very defensive up here for Lathans. He's got hardly anything there. Down at the bottom again. A couple of units in defensive positions, but nothing exciting there. And equally, 
mostly defensive from a wooden box here. There's not going to be any pushing there. There's Nicky coming in at the back here in choppers again. And these are in rocket attack choppers, no less. Oh, these doesn't Nicky maybe finally caught out as these mech rifles, engineers, and Cobra move in on them. Yeah, they've been spotted and are getting engaged now. That command vehicle is being rushed out of the way. Akav chasing down the Iglers there. I mean, Lathans doesn't have a lot here, but he's doing a lot with very little, shall we say. Tanks coming in at the top here. Again, looking defensive at the moment, but could it be that Lathans is thinking at some point about pushing out from here? That command is on the move again. Just moving into a more secure position in the middle, I think. Yeah, he's just moving into the city itself. What's going on down here? Oh! An afterthought from Lathans, I think. He has missed a wooden box's command here. I don't think that will at any point be visible. I think uh, a wooden box has probably got away with this. Oh, an artillery piece in for Lathans. That is... Not something we see very often, to be honest. A standard artillery piece for Lathans. I know he likes his uh, Urgans and stuff like that. But actual proper artillery coming in there. Hitting the center. Oh, he's going... Oh, wow! A one-hit kill on that artillery... P on the uh, D-44 cannon, sorry. I just... Wow! I was not expecting a one-hit kill. Even for a direct hit, that's pretty impressive to just wipe it out like that. A wooden box on the move here, pushing now with various forces. He's got RPO, he's got Desert Nikki, he's got his cannons, his BMT2s. Manages to kill one squad of infantry. Now, again, Lathans doesn't have a huge amount of stuff here. I think certainly a wooden box outnumbers. He's managed to push through here with some Sapri RPO as well. Desert Nikki pushing up the back. Attack marker has gone down on that D-44 cannon over here. I expect that's going to be the next fire. Oh, my word. Another artillery piece for Lathans. Fire support marker going down from a wooden box on that artillery piece, though. But, yeah, two artillery pieces in. This is... Okay. Unexpected from Lathans. Unexpected. He's hitting the infantry in the building back there. Rocket attack choppers coming in here with some more infantry heading to reinforce this area. There's a fire team 84 going in there, but I suspect that a wooden box will be able to deal with that without too much of an issue. Very nearly another dead D44 cannon at the bottom there. In the center, lots of skirmishing going on between infantry at the moment. As I say, realistically, a wooden box has more forces here, so it should come out on top. It needs to be careful with those BMDs against the dragons, though. Dragons are now retreating, however. Oh. Artillery coming in just on the... I guess trying to kill the anti-air? There wasn't really anything else in there firing back at the time. That Kiowa may or may not have seen that command vehicle. I don't think it has. Certainly, Lathans hasn't realized because he's not redirecting anything there. So, I think a wooden box is going to take Echo. Two artillery pieces in the back there. Nothing else yet. A wooden box making some progress in the center here is coming up against some engineers now, though. Chaparral's engaging on those choppers, which will pull back. Or die, as the case may be. <laughs> Didn't pull back far enough. Fighting Falcon coming in here. I think the plan would have been to go for those choppers, but it is veering off. Engineer's flash moving in from the bottom there. I assume going to the center. Yeah, taking two different road routes. Those M60s moved up a little bit here, but... 
Artillery being used now to cut off the advance of the units there. Fire team around the back here. I mean, it's not the best position for it to be. I was going to say, yeah. Attack choppers can come in and take them out pretty easily. Sometimes it's all about getting the angle on units in a forest. And certainly that chopper's coming in from the right angle. More M60s coming in. I was about to say, I haven't seen any T-64s yet. And sure enough, there is a T-64. T-64 coming in from a wooden box, coming towards the center. It's the first big tank we've seen this game. More infantry coming in. More M60s coming in. Here we go. A wooden box getting closer and closer to that point. Engineer's flash being redirected to avoid those desert Nikki. I mean, as the map goes right now, kind of feels like there's more a wooden box units on the map. But whether they're, you know, a better price is up for debate, I guess. I think a lot of them are cheaper units in general. Whereas Lathan's units will be more expensive and perhaps survive a bit longer. Random pivads right at the back here. I guess Lathan's fearing a chopper rush on those artillery. This is very low on fuel. 84 went up there. Didn't hang around at the bottom. Oh, there's Nicky coming in the BMDs there. Again, all coming to the center. A little bit of movement from these M60s now. What's that going for? Going for the infantry here and artillery coming in for that D44 cannon. Artillery proving really, really effective against those cannons, I must admit. I kind of didn't expect it. A wooden box maintaining control in terms of points right now. And all he has to do technically is hold for the full game. Another 27 and a half minutes, give or take. It's a long time to hold out against Lathans in my book. But if anyone can do it, it's someone like a wooden box. Down here, everything kind of stalled as both players are building up forces for the middle. I really don't think there'll be much movement up here. I do notice, look at this at the top. Where's it going? It's just staying there for the minute. A wooden box obviously thinking about getting something around the back. Oh my word, what? Now this is more what I would expect from Lathans initially. Is an MRS in... You know, a multiple launch rocket system is sort of right up Lathan Street since he likes the Uragan. I was surprised that he brought in the uh, M109s. Very nice. Got a good hit. Killed the command that was at the back there. I'm sure I wouldn't... Yeah, immediate immediate purchase of a T-64 BVK. I knew that was going to be the choice. If, if it's going to be artillery spam, then you need something that can take a few hits and it's got to be a tank. We now might see that command try and move into this point. A lot of artillery in for Lathans. I'm surprised. Oh, bit of a push going on here with some tanks and plenty of infantry moving in on these Desert Nikki. That's actually quite a sizable force to push on these couple of units with support from the tanks in the middle there. Uh, D44 cannon obviously badly damaged here. Chaparral being moved in to assist that push. Nice little uh, tactic there from Lathans. Lathans moving a command into here. Kind of makes me wonder if he knows that that command is there. I mean, I don't think he does. But it does make me wonder. A couple of pivots back here defending that artillery. Mortars coming in as well now for Lathans. This could be a good little push coming around the back here, but there's a lot of infantry in here. I don't fancy Lathans' chances once he gets into the forest. 
Good use of artillery to keep pushing a wooden box back here, though. Where is that command tank trundling along at such a slow speed? Forces coming in around the bottom here for a wooden box. I wonder if he's going to try and get all the way around the back. Needs to be careful, though, as... Uh, actually, they, I can't really see this road down here, so technically maybe they could get around here. Good use of these choppers here. The chaparral isn't quite far enough up to help. These flash are doing some damage, but... They're going to take a lot of fire, and these BMDs could absolutely tear them apart if they're a little bit further forward. Tech Top has pulled out, but did plenty of damage. T-64B just in defense here, moving up a little bit. Flash have been dealt with. Command is almost back in. Oh! Oh! I think that chopper's been spotted. Lots of stuff coming in for it. It is landed, though. So the aircraft are now no use against it. Rangers moving up that way, though. Lathans will intercept. MiG-29 takes fire from the Fighting Falcon there. Command is back in there in the center for a wooden box. Lots of choppers moving to the back here. Need to be careful of the pivads at the back, though. Still no movement from this command. A wooden box making some progress finally with this infantry. Oh, Thunderbolt absolutely annihilating those choppers, as always. Thunderbolt's really efficient against choppers in standard game. Never mind... Uh, in one or let loose here where there has been an adjustment obviously of speed and things for jets obviously the infantry being knocked out of the choppers there survive but stunned and completely low cohesion so it would be technically useless in a fight here we go units pushing in around here let's see Does that Kiowa realize they're there? Now, they might give the game away if they engage the Kiowa at the moment. I mean, the Kiowa as it stands, I don't think can see them. Artillery firing again here. All sort of going towards the center by the looks of it. A wooden box has lost his infantry that were pushing here. Where is Lathans going with these vehicles? Lathans is doing a blind rush into the point. That's weird. T-64 gets the kill. And again, T-64 well positioned there. Thunderbolt coming in for the T-64, which has smoked itself, so it should be okay. Lathans smoking this area here was hoping to push through there, but obviously the units never made it. Thunderbolt going for the other choppers. And yeah, getting very close to this chopper. Who sees who first? And yeah, engaging. I mean, that will go down very quickly. There it goes. Mech rifle still heading towards the center here. There you go. Fire team, engineers. Are these guys going to be redirected? They're not. A wooden box needs to make his move sooner rather than later. Look at this. Thunderbolt coming in to try and deal with these things as well. Artillery coming in the T-64, which is pulled back. 20 minutes left of this game. A wooden box is hanging on in there. Lathens did gain some points. Doesn't Nicky, pushing through in here, have managed to get into the buildings, impressively? Thunderbolt taking fire from the Shazette. Igla not quite there yet. Still no redirection of the mech rifles there. But these are coming in now. So unfortunately, unless that command gets in, I don't think it's ever going to get in that point now.
Conkers and Metis taking out these tanks here while the T-64 goes back to get repaired. A little bit of movement up here in the middle from Lathans as well, pushing in against a wooden box. Mortars being used to hit this area. Now being switched around to fire over here. Are you, is this going to be smoke or... Looks like it's going to be smoke on this area. Yeah, smoke to stop the conkers firing out. It's really hard to call right now in terms of numbers of units. Definitely still a wooden box has more, but... Engineer's Dragon taking out there. Cobra moving in. Cobra is going to be an issue. Cobra will go for that command vehicle, I'm sure. Oh, I, I was expecting it to focus down the command vehicle. Command vehicle is in, hidden and safe. Plus two and plus four to a wooden box. For capping that entire point, another Abrams command being called in, and an M1A1 Abrams. First big tanks I think we've seen there from Lathan's side. Look at this on the. There's a graphical error for you. A continuously flashing. Uh... Oh, there's one there as well. Look. Those were uh, units. That was killed very early on, and it's still flashing. And there as well, look. That vehicle that was killed not long ago. How strange. That is badly damaged, but just about alive. Arrow rifles coming in in the Blackhawks there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is going to die. But it's helped out a wooden box a lot. It's pushing him towards the 1,000 point mark with 17 minutes oddies left. Lots of mortar harassment from Lathans. It's not something, again, I feel like I see Lathans doing very often. A load of infantry and stuff here still. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So Lathans is just charging through the middle of the point. He wants to kill the command, obviously. He's realized he needs to make a move here. But he's about to get surrounded by a wooden box's forces. I don't know if the Lathans realizes how much a wooden box has in there, but he's about to get like completely encircled. There'll be no retreat. All of these units are going to die. I don't see any situation where Lathans units in the middle survive this. There's just simply too much here. He is overwhelmed. Even with this single tank at the back here, he doesn't have enough tanks left there to deal with this. T-64B pushing up here quite far. Command was killed there, but still plus four to a wooden box until that Abrams arrives. And this is, as I say, look at this. Lathan's completely surrounded. His forces getting annihilated in the center there. This tank is proving annoying and killing stuff, but... Lathan's lost pretty much everything there. He's got the M60 left there, but... T-64 here will fin- Oh, something else finished it off, I think. I think the Spetsnaz got it. Biggest threat right now being the... M-60 here. It's taking fire from Metis there. T-64 will need to move up to deal with it, probably. Command has been retreated out of the point by Lathans. Plus three to a wooden box. 15 minutes... Just under 14, I should say, left of this game. I feel like Lathans might be in trouble here. Mech Rifle's coming in. Yeah, Lathans pulling everything back from the point. Trying to save as much as possible after that push where he's lost a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong, a wooden box lost a lot as well, but he's controlling the point. Reinforcements in rocket attack choppers coming in. A command in a chopper there as well. I think that is destined to go for the top point here. Doesn't Nikki pushing through the center here, looking for a command to kill by the looks of it. Now, 
Life Hands assures me time to kill is faster. So let's see how long it takes the Rangers to kill this Desert Nikki squad. Desert Nikki squad are seven man. Rangers are six man. Neither player moving the units really. Desert Nikki obviously were damaged there. We'll come back to them in a minute because that's going to take a while, clearly. Oh, Lathans. Oh, Lathans. Mass spam helo infantry rush so they get shot down over the enemy. I don't think that works in this mod, does it? Shouldn't they all be stunned and miss? Oh, nice with the Thunderbolt, though. He scared the command tank to move out of the way and brought in the Thunderbolt. Very clever. Very clever. Oh no, all those aero rifles managed to land without being destroyed. <laughs> I was expecting it to be the standard get shot out of the sky situation, but they actually managed to land. Doesn't Nikki still alive, running away from those rangers, were going for that command. Abrams coming in down here, charging. St wow. It's just going straight in here. That Abrams... That Abrams is surely going to get annihilated by those two T-64s. It's going to be close range. Oh, he's, he's moved it into here instead. It's taking fire from the ATGMs. Her rifle's been charged in here as well. All of this feels like... A, yeah, it's dead. Infantry survived. Stunned on the ground. Cohesion low, surely instantly killed, yeah. Uh, the Abrams died immediately to the T-64s, incidentally. T-64 did survive. Thunderbolt coming in again. Thunderbolt's been doing a really good job here. A wooden box still plus three. Obviously, Lathans needs to get back in here with his command, but currently there are a lot of infantry here. Obviously, a struggle at the other end for a wooden box, though. But a wooden box is in the top. There we go. Spetsnaz Commander has managed to get in the point at the top. Along with Strellas coming in. Some other infantry are in. Spetsnaz Commander is even just engaging here. No messing about. Realistically, I, I think the fight there is a wooden boxes in the centre here. The wooden box just needs to hold on a little bit longer at plus five now. That Abrams, a little bit of an issue coming in the side there. Will completely take the point. Make that plus two instead. Twelve minutes left of this game. MLRS is off firing again at the top here, but the command has been moved. Middle point has gone to Lathans. Rocket attack chopper engaging on that Abrams, but it won't do a huge amount of damage. Mech rifles coming in here. Surely, again, if they come straight in there, the tank should deal with them. I'm really surprised that Lathans managed to take the center point back. And currently plus one to Lafans. Plus one due to that total control. A wooden box has not managed to kill those rangers who are going after the Sapri commander. Thunderbolt being an absolute nightmare still for a wooden box. Ten minutes to go. Lathan's on plus one. One T-64 is dead. Lots of smoke going down here so the mech rifles can get into this position. That is actually routed and fleeing. Now it looks like there's a lot more red on the map technically now, but... Is Lathans just in a better position from where his stuff is? I mean, he's got a commander ready to go in. 
points win with 10 minutes to go is going to be challenging for Lathans, but we've seen him do it before. Determined to get his infantry in these buildings. Rocket attack choppers being called in here to try and deal with the infantry. There's no AA there, so they're a good choice. The jet's obviously still an issue. Command vehicle coming in here, but the arrow rifles are still knocking around. This point is now completely in a wooden boxer's hands. He has managed to kill Lathan's command with his Spetsnaz commander. How many commands does Lathans have left is the next question. Can he retake Alpha? He's got that command tank there. He's got a command tank down here. He's got some command infantry there. I've only seen one command infantry from Lathans so far. Unless I've missed one. In which case he should have another one at least. He has managed to take this point. There is no command in there for a wooden box. Command has been called in though. Currently plus one again to Lathans. Plus three in a moment. There we go. Plus three. Infantry doing a really good job here for Lathans. With some fire support from the dragon. Dragon is destroyed. He is the choppers coming in. This could make all the difference. Yeah, look at this. Rifles getting absolutely annihilated now by that chopper. Absolutely fantastic job. There's the other command vehicle or the command in the vehicle. Command infantry pushing in the point there. Lafan's determined to hold on to this now, but he's got no AA until those jets come back in. A wooden box has power here. BMD engaging on those Jaeger commanders. This Jaeger commander almost on its own now. Just need to deal with these infantry and then this chopper can engage everything else. Command has managed to get in here. Mech Rifle's law would be moving towards it though. Back to plus three for a wooden box with seven minutes, 45 seconds-ish to go. Now the truth is, Lahan said to me he spent a lot of money on artillery and i didn't quite know what he meant until i watched the game and there's the surrender game goes to a wooden box a very hard fought game lathans with reasonable amount more kills than a wooden box but a wooden box just held on in there kept control of the map and held those points for the longest time possible and made the points up really really good game but now I understand what Lathans meant when he said, I spent a lot of money on artillery. He did. And he thinks that's what cost him the game. And it's a distinct possibility. Because it meant he had less units on the front line. Though, to be fair, I felt like the artillery did do something. We'll have a look at what they killed at the end. Let's have a quick look through. Spetsnaz OP did a really good job. I think they were in the middle. I think they deserve a pat on the back. They're probably going to get MVP. Over on the other side, Cobra was doing well. Chaparral did pretty good as well. Thunderbolt doing very well. Not surprising, I suppose. Thunderbolts tend to do well. Right, where are these artillery pieces is the next question. So, artillery came in earlier, didn't it? So, MLRS got three kills. It didn't do terribly. They mostly killed those anti-tank guns i think for me mvp has to go to the spetsnaz op because of the stuff that it killed and also getting a command tank but i think it would be fair to say that the chaparral did well on the other side i would you know i know that the thunderbolt also did well but i kind of you know i expect the thunderbolt to do well so the chaparral was Doing good there. I mean, it killed Desi Nikki DSH. Obviously, they were in a chopper, I guess. But that was a really good final. And an unexpected turn of events. And an unexpected recap of the center by Lafans towards the end there. I, I didn't expect that to happen. I thought those choppers were going to get shot down. The infantry would be stunned and just instantly die. But they actually managed to land. So I'm quite surprised by that. Thanks for watching everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Warno over the coming week. The 
monthly Warner tournament for SD League has started again, so we will definitely be covering some of those games. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all soon.